previous video, you was able to create the um, product handler with the add method in order to add the um, a product into database and this time we're going to work with jQuery mobile to create a form for adding so um, in order to use jQuery mobile you need to add the following links okay uh, you can just go to uh, the web page that I have introduced and then copy this several lines okay copy this several line from uh, the website which is called this one okay w3 schools jQuery mobile jQuery mobile getting started and you just download this link for jQuery B, uh, jQuery mobile to work then we're going to go to the first concepts inside jQuery mobile which is about pages so in jQuery mobile you can uh, create several pages inside one um, inside one uh, um, 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 HTML file then uh, you're gonna create it using this one div uh, I'm going to use the um, um, data, uh, data, um, um, data, um, data roles is page, okay, um, and I'm gonna give it I an ID to access to it later on. So every uh, every attribute with data at first from Jupyter Mobile is uh, about is about touch friendly. Okay, it's about touch friendly. So this one is the role. Uh, that one is a page, and the ID is add page. Okay, add page. Then um, from that div, we have a page already. Uh, from this page, we're going to have um, another div. That one is for data role again. Is for header. Okay. Then we're gonna give h1 um, a header it takes, and of course you should put the header text yourself then very similarly you're going to be able to create another div and that div the data drawn is for uh, main or the content and i'm going to provide a class which is called ui class ui class is to create some backends in the um, body content okay and some other yeah, some other things so i'm going to put this one p sorry p so uh, page content Okay, so um, next one we're gonna create, which is another one, which is div. Uh, this one we're gonna give data role, data role, which is the footer. Okay, which is footer. And uh, I'm gonna put again h1. This one is footer text. So this one is a typical jQuery mobile page with three uh, main components. So the page itself. Okay. Then divide it into three main components: the header, the uh, mains, and the uh, footer. Okay. The header you're going to um, have the data role is page. Sorry, the page uh, you have data role is page. The header you have data role is header, and the um, uh, main content you have the data role is main. Okay. Uh, sorry, this one is not it's UI content. So this one is UI content. Okay. And the uh, footer, of course, the little is footer. So we'll try to uh, run this one with browser and see if we have that page yet. Okay. Okay. So we have the page with the header text, the footer text over here. We can inspect and try to look at it with um, mobile page. Okay. So you have the header, the page content, and the footer. Um, but you see, the header seems um, not very appropriate I prefer the header to stay on top and the footer to stay down there so let's give an example if you have many of this let's be just duplicate this okay with many let's just, just duplicate it just to demonstrate the, um, I, uh, the coming idea so if you have that you see the header is there but when you scroll the header is off and the footer is there and if I scroll, the footer is off and the header is off. So if I prefer the header and the footer to stay on top uh, and at the top and down, button, always. So you can just do something like this. Okay, the um, header, you put data positions equal to fix. And this one, you have data position equal to fix. Okay, rerun it. 
And let's just, as you see, the header and the footer is fixed there. Let's just inspect it. And look at it as mobile content. You see, the header is always on top, the footer is always um, at the bottom. And if you scroll, okay, they are still there. So if you scroll, the header and the footers are still there. So that's it for, for jQuery mobile page. Okay, that's it for a jQuery mobile page. So we're going to use this one for the ad page. Okay, so this one we're going to use, let's say, ad product. Okay, this one is going to have, let's say, VT games as the footer. Okay, just, just make it. Then later on, we're going to learn further things. Let's say we're going to add in a forms. Okay. You're going to add in a forms here in order to um, create the, in order to create the, um, in order to create the um, products.